Sydney historical 1840 Yendis is getting new bumpkin. But it's up the front of the boat, I hear you say. Surely that's a bowsprit. Well, it may be to you, but Aussie skiff sailors have always referred to them as bumpkins, and I'll tell you why. Many people have come to believe that a bumpkin can only be on the back of a boat, probably because of the association with the word bum in the sense of backside. But the word bumpkin is a corruption of boomkin, the name for centuries of any generally unstayed spar poking out from the hull in any direction, including the bow. Workboats on Sydney Harbour in the mid-19th century were generally sprit-rigged and occasionally gaff-rigged, and many began to rig short, unstayed bumpkins to carry a jib. Working boats began to race, generally with individual matches for state money, and eventually in regattas. By the 1870s, boats were being specifically built for racing, and rigs got bigger and bigger. The bumpkins got longer and longer to carry bigger jibs, and eventually started being stayed, rigged with bob stays first, and eventually with whisker stays. But because it was a gradual evolution, they were always called bumpkins. To follow the evolution of the workboats into racing classes of at first 16 foot, 19 foot and 22 foot skiffs, and the 24 foot fishing boats into the 24 foot and 22 foot racing boats from which the 18 foot has developed, you need to read my book, The Open Boat, available on my website, as well as from the Wooden Boat Store in Maine, USA, and from Boat Books in Sydney, Australia. By the 1890s, the rigs were huge and the bumpkins extended sometimes almost as long as the hull and even longer on some of the smaller classes, and were carried on the iconic 18-footers until the mid-1950s. So if you've got a yacht, you might have a bowsprit, but if you've got an Aussie skiff, you've got a bumpkin. Yendis broke their bumpkin more than once, so they really needed a new one. I got a nice piece of clear, fine-grained Oregon pine, Douglas fir, and began to shape it down. First, I visited the original restored Yendis at the Sydney Heritage Fleet at Wharf 7 in Darling Harbour to check on the profile they used. Then I marked out the taper and cut the outline with a circular saw. I planed top and bottom with a power plane, then finished off with hand planes. I planed all four sides fair and then marked out guidelines for the shaping. The bulk of the waste was removed with the circular saw blade at an angle. Power planes and hand planes finished off the shaping. Then I sanded with a torture board to remove plane marks and finished off with an inline sander with a moulded base plate. I fitted the original bronze bumpkin cap fitting by carefully trimming the spar end down. A bit of fine tuning to ensure a good fit in the metal brackets on the bow and the new bumpkin is ready for the crew to varnish and rig and Yendis will join the fleet for this coming summer's racing.